ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश साई पर्ल्स ऑफ विजडम वेलकम्स यू वंस ड्यूरिंग शिवरात्रि भगवान बाबा हैड गॉन टू ऊटी वाइल रिटर्निंग फ्रॉम देयर टू बेंगलोर ही स्टार्ट द कार्स एट ए प्लेस एंड आज द डिवोटिस एंड द स्टूडेंट्स टू रेस्ट फॉर अ वाइल everyone sat around swami he turned to one of the students and said you still have some doubts about me isn't it all right you have a polaroid camera take a photo and you will understand the reality swami posed for a photograph he warned sternly that no one must come closer or to try to touch him he lifted his robe slightly pressed the big toe of his right foot and asked that student to photograph him in a polaroid camera the photograph develops instantly so everyone was very eager to see it on seeing it everyone was astonished because in place of swami there was a picture of lord dattatreya with three heads and six hands and all the three faces were of swami in the hands there were weapons and kamandalu and japamala in the background there was a cow at the feet there were four dogs who represent the four vedas the big toe of swami's right foot was pressed and flowers of pale pink and lilac shade were thrown all around without uttering a single word swami revealed through the photograph that three characteristics of creation maintenance and dissolution all the three creation maintenance and dissolution are present in him and he is one of the same god who creates protects and dissolves the universe swami also explained why he did not allow anyone to come close to him when the photograph was being taken he said that very powerful and effulgent waves were emitting from his body and at the time which could not have been withstood by anyone else in the past too there have been many such incidents there is a big disciple of brahma chaitanya gondavalekar maharaj from maharashtra he was a professor of philosophy once in a vision gondavalekar maharaj said to his disciples shri guru dattatreya has incarnated in puttaparthi i feel that we should definitely go there in obedience to his guru's advice the professor went to puttaparthi swami called him for an interview when he entered the interview room swami said take padra namaskar you are in the divine abode of the tatreya on hearing this the professor was overwhelmed with joy here is another incident a family named risbud risbud or yes beauty used to reside at bangalore the entire family were devotees of swami once when a boy from the family was leaving for swami's darshan his mother mrs risbud stopped him she hurriedly went to the altar in the house and brought back an idol of sri dattatreya she gave the idol to her son to get it blessed by swami the boy reached puttaparthi 
when Swami called him for an interview, the first question he asked was, Where is the idol given to you by your mother? Take it out. The boy took the idol from his bag and gave it to Swami. Baba took it in his hands, blessed it and returned to the boy. A Purnavatara of Sri Dattatreya. Sri Swami Samartha Maharaj of Akkalkota had told all his devotees, at the time of taking Samadhi, go to Shirdi, my brother resides there. It meant the Purnavatar of Dattatreya was also present at Shirdi in the form of Sai. In the Shirdi Sai Arati, the composer Sri Mahadev Rao Atkar describes Sai from the formless Brahman, you have taken a form and have incarnated on earth in Kali Yuga as embodiment of Sri Dattatreya. We are extremely fortunate that we have been blessed with the darshan of the second incarnation of Sai. Bhagavan Sri Satsai Baba confers liberation from ignorance, misery and death. Bhagavan Baba says, human birth is very special opportunity to seek liberation from the cycle of birth and death. On no other level does this opportunity exist. This is very rare and privileged and limited only to life on earth. Every being yearns for human birth because only through human form one can realize God. Bhagavan Baba also says, the human body is an instrument to realize divinity. To attain this, one must give up body attachment. In order to get liberation, one must surrender one's mind to God. When God catches hold of the mind, all desires end, and once that happens, the mind is dissolved and man is liberated. This condition is called Manolaya or Manonasana, which means the mind is annihilated and merges with its true entity. To make us understand this, Swami gives the example of Gautam Buddha. He says, Buddha contemplated very deeply and realized that ultimately it is the mind that obstructs the progress in the process of self-realization. After this, he became Amanaska, which means he removed all the barriers from the mind and attained Nirvana, self-realization. Here is a touching story of a little girl who attained liberation by the grace of Bhagwan Baba. Many years ago, Swami was leaving to go to the banks of Chitravati along with some devotees. A six-year-old girl came there. She had noticed that Swami was walking bare feet. So she had brought a pair of sandals with her. She went up to Swami and requested him to wear the sandals. This gesture of the little girl pleased him immensely. He called her closer and said to her, Ask whatever you want. Everyone taken aback on hearing her demand, for she said, Swami, I want to merge at your divine lotus feet. She was told to ask for something else, but she kept on insisting on the same thing. Finally, her wish was fulfilled. She suffered from fever for just two days and her soul merged in Swami. This compassionate Swami fulfilled her wish and conferred liberation. There is another story about Mr. and Mrs. Shankar Narayan of Kerala. 
both of them had immense devotion for Swami. When Baba visited Kerala in 1959 to 60, he was pleased with their devotion and said, Mrs. Shankar Narayan, devotion is great. In 1991, she passed away quite suddenly. Her daughter, who is a doctor, was mourning her mother's death and had only one question in her mind. Where has mother gone? How is she? Immediately, Vibhuti and Nectar started dripping from the photographs in her mother's puja room. It was as if Swami replied saying, Don't worry, your mother is with me now. Her life is fulfilled. When Bhagwan draws his devotees closer to him, he removes their faults and weaknesses. This enables devotees to carry out their duties in their right manner. Can our faults remain hidden from Bhagwan Baba? Impossible. Right from his childhood, he was very particular that everyone should stay away from bad habits. Here is a story that highlights this aspect. Swami was just eight years old at the time. A well-known person living in Puttaparthi had a bad habit of collecting friends and gossiping with them all the day long. Satchinarayana Baba noticed this fault and he also knew its bad effects. The person indulging in gossip himself becomes idle, makes others idle too. Little Satcha found a remedy, remedy for this. He composed a song and taught it to his friends. When this group of people were sitting around and indulging in gossip, the children would go in their vicinity and sing the song. The song conveyed to the listeners, O oh, elderly people, your behavior is not ethical. If you don't follow righteousness, your friends will hate you. They will leave you and they may even beat you. That's the meaning of the song. After hearing the song, the main culprit became uneasy. But by and by, all of them grasped the truth behind it and improved their ways. Such a composed many similar poems and skits in which he highlighted the defects prevailing in society. One of the popular skits composed by little Sachem was called Chepina to Chastara, which means, should we not behave? and do the way we talk. Here is an interesting story from the Shirdi Avatar. In 1911, a young man named Vaman Bhai Patel went to Shirdi for Sainas Darshan and wished to become worthy of his grace. Very lovingly, Sainad addressed him as Babu and other devotees also started calling him by the same name. Due to his young age and growing body, Babu could not control his hunger. Once, due to uncontrollable hunger pangs, he kept eating sugar all day long out of a sack of sugar. To help him overcome this bad habit, the omniscient Sainad told him a story. Sai so said, There was a person who was staying with me. He was suffering from tuberculosis. One morning I woke him up very early and gave him a handful of sugar to eat and locked him up in a room. He was thirsty, so he caused a big uproar to come out of the room. But according to my instruction, nobody helped him. But finally, he was allowed to come out in the afternoon and was given some food. He was cured in this manner. If one feels like eating sugar, one should not eat just a little bit. Babu realized this mistake and gave up his addiction for eating sugar. Once the same Babu, uncontrollably hungry, felt like 
eating laddus so he went to an innkeeper named vasudevo sainath saw him from far and shouted you are going there to eat but you will die but babu ignored his warning proceeded to the inn and ate three laddus made out of gram flour the result was as per sainath's prediction that morning babu suffered from severe stomach ache ek and the area and started feeling uneasy finally in the afternoon sainath sent him a piece of sweet barfi as prasad and his health improved by and by with the help of sainath's loving guidance he was able to overcome his addiction to over 18 sairan will meet again